especially when you're attempting to get, you know, to optimize the endocrine system, you're, you're attempting to optimize the pancreas and they're devoid of, of thyroid. And as you know, Alex, a lot of these people, when they start upping androgens and upping uh, or improving insulin sensitivity, whether it's through dihydroberberin or metformin or, or Jardian, the thyroid becomes sluggish. It's like that third wheel and it loses, you know, energy form. And then all of a sudden these people, they, they don't feel well. And they're like, why is this not working? When I first started on testosterone and metformin or dihydroberberin, I felt amazing, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm six months down the road, they're literally dying. They're, they lose energy, everything starts hurting, they can't lift, they can't get out of bed in the morning. And it's like, because they have not gotten a bump of thyroid. And it, it's, it's incredible and maddening to see this in the medical industry. But again, at the end of the day, like you said, for doctors, they are afraid of being audited by state medical licensing boards, because they're going to ask them, why is this person on a thyroid? Horn? Why did you put this person on desiccated thyroid, even though it is slight and, and, and very gentle and doesn't usually disturb. But it's, it's really unfortunate, because a lot of people are not on desiccated thyroid who otherwise should be.